Hello lads, today we're going to be doing the tutorial on the smallest 6x6 flush trapdoor in Hello. MC Java. This is 8x3x19, uh, by by not including the floor, so it's 342 blocks. And it's only in 1.15 because it uses honey. Dude, they go in. All right, I'm just gonna leave those guys. They, they can go by elsewhere. All right, so we are going to start by finding out where the door frame is. So we're gonna have our three blocks like this, and then our floor level is gonna be here, and then we're gonna have uh, our door frame uh, leaving one block on this side. All right. Now we're going to have our input block in the corner here. We're going to have line of observers like this. We're going to have a line of detector rails like this, or powered rails. I just think detector rails are cheaper. Run this down into a dust like this. We're going to have an observer, and then you want to redirect that to like this. And you want to have another hopper, another observer. I'm going to put that into a uh, full block, I guess. And uh, this one does not have to be movable. I'm going to have these two. And these have to be movable because any uh, block in these two layers is going to have to be movable because we're using slime and honey here. So we're going to have this. I just use blast furnaces because they look better have two droppers facing into each other, put an item in the bottom one. I'm going to have more blast furnaces. I have a comparator coming out of this into a repeater, into a normal block. I'm going to have blast furnaces across here, then a line of redstone on these. And that's going to be powering our uh, piston pusher like this. I'm going to have pistons facing upwards like that. All right. Now we can move on and have a observer coming out of that into a lamp. Another observer into a piston. That's going to be like this. And we're going to need an immovable block. Like this. Oh no. I'm going to run that up into this. I'm going to need a piston. And that's going to be pushing some glazed terracotta. It is extremely important that it's glazed terracotta. Otherwise, the slime will pull it. We're gonna run this into a repeater. Oh, I actually have repeaters. Oh, I do. Into a lamp. Into an observer. Into a block. Into a piston. It's an observer like this, and that's gonna be starting the flying machine, which we will build right about now. We're gonna start off with the uh, slime and honey like this. Right, I'm gonna have three slime blocks like this. Oh, hello, how's he going? It's so scary, right? How's it going? Can you please stop flying in front of me? Thanks. <laughs> put pistons like this. Put one like that. We're actually gonna put more removable blocks like this to stop the flying machine. We're gonna have servers on this. Then that is going to get this right here. We're going to use honey on this side. We're going to have six uh, rows of this, alternating honey and slime, so they don't stick together. We're going to put floor blocks on top of these, like so. All right, and that's going to be our flying machine done. And now we can get onto this side, which is going to be more of the opening. <laughs> it do be raining though. Oh, it actually is. We we'll have this kind of system there into an observer, into this, and have another movable block. We have a regular frame block into a repeater, into another movable block into a lamp. That is going to be starting the flying machine on the opening with the sticky piston. We're going to have this. Do. 
We're gonna add this into a normal block. Into a hopper. Oh, thank you. Into two more observers, into a block, into a hopper. And we'll go up into a, <laughs> up into a piston. Oh no, it's a flowing crossbow. I know. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do is put the movable blocks here to stop the flying machine. Oh wait, I forgot an observer facing upwards right here. And that is going to be powering that piston to keep the flying machine moving. We can just fill out the rest of our uh, frame with the movable blocks up in this layer. We can pull up. We forgot one single block, and it has to go right here. And if you miss this block, that will be uh, there will be some consequences that I don't want to get into because uh, I found that out the hard way. So now we can power the door, and it will work this time, which is good because it didn't when I forgot the block. And there we go. Done. So uh, now you can just fill up your uh, floor here. The floor can be any block. It doesn't have to be solid or non-solid. I see the credits right now. <laughs> uh. It's it's a thunderstorm now. That, that's that's fun. Pretty dang long. Just press escape, dude. Oh! In bedrock, you just collect. Yeah, there we go. We have completed the door. And we can just take care of this guy. Yes! No, we have to kill the villagers! No! They still survive. Get them. Nice. Oh, I hit Monster Hunter with my fist. Good job. Yes. Now they can also destroy this boat over there. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Oh! Ah, your TNT prank did not destroy the door.